Things continue to get worse for Chris Tyson because an old Discord server was leaked and the messages, they're bad. Bro, what is this? And not only that, but we thought that Mr. Beast was innocent in all of this, that he had no idea what was going on. But based on these leaks, it appears that he was actually in the server. Yo, what's going on YouTube? It's Ivan Steph and you guys, things keep getting worse for Chris Tyson. So in my last video, I looked at Chris's creepy obsession with Shadman CP, as well as the disgusting conversations that he had with a 13 year old fan. But that was only the tip of the iceberg because Chris's Discord messages were just leaked, revealing how disgusting he was. I'm not gonna ramble on, I'm gonna get right into it and highlight what you need to know about this leak. So a few days ago, Chris Tyson's former Discord moderator, Nathan, also known as Brain Freak, came forward and stated that Chris hosted a Discord server mainly consisting of kids. He would also frequently bring up sexual topics that was definitely not appropriate to bring up around 15, 16 year olds. He would even go as far as linking me several different corn and videos not only that but he had an nsfw bot in his discord server and he would use this nsfw bot to spam different corn images now these are disgusting allegations but it was all just word of mouth people wanted physical concrete evidence so nathan promised to restore the messages from chris's old discord server and said that it would change everything and he did just that as you can see here are a bunch of zip files containing over 500,000 messages exchanged in the discord server there is a lot but i'm gonna highlight what i found to be the worst messages that Chris sent to these minors. And I want you to keep in mind that when these messages were sent, Chris was in his college days, about 22 years old. Here's a screenshot of Chris sending a photo of a young girl saying she is only 14. Damn. Now we can't see who the image is of, but based on an old Mr. Beast podcast and what Sneeko recently revealed about Chris. Yeah, I remember Chris saying, like, isn't she hot? Isn't like Cash Mail Psycho shit? Like, isn't she like 14? Is she 14 years old? Yeah, it's jail bait. The photo is believed to be a bad baby. Catch me outside, how about that? An adult, someone in their 20s talking about a 14 year old girl this way. FBI, open up! Just to give you an idea of how creepy this server was, people were responding saying things like 16 illegal in some states. If she's 14, I'm 14. Here's a screenshot of Chris saying, there's nothing more free than peeing in the shower and then attaching an image with the statement, waterproof phone gang. Now we can't see the images, but based on the replies, people calling him daddy. Did Chris actually send a photo of him peeing in the shower to these kids? Now I'm not sure, but here's a screenshot that I'm more sure about of what looks like Chris sending a picture of his feet to the server. As you can see, the people in the server were disgusted by this. The fact that Chris was so comfortable allegedly sending pictures of his feet and peeing in the shower to these minors. Just imagine the one-on-one -on -one conversations Chris would have had with these people. This is a person who is obsessed with corn and feels the need to sexualize everything. Here's a screenshot of Chris sharing an anime plot involving high school girls with big milk cannons. Here are two screenshots of which appear to be Chris role-playing in a way with the kids of his server. Chris would talk about 18 plus anime that starts with an H and say things like my pee pee gets big when I watch anime. Oh, I lick my pickle. Cut me. This is no way for someone in their 20s in a position of power to be talking to their teenage fans. If you want to talk to people your own age this way, you know, like other adults, then go ahead. But talking to kids this way, Nah. Chris would even send the link to Shadman's website to these minors, a website of which contained animated CP. Chris would even send images which I'm unable to open, but based on the name of the file and with Chris sending messages like this into the chat, I don't even want to know. Again, there are over 500,000 messages that were leaked, so I can make this video go on forever, but I think you guys get the gist of how Chris would communicate with these young people. So while the server was running, there was a lot of conversation going on about whether or not the server should be made 18 plus. Here's a screenshot showing that Nathan was the one who made the NSFW channel, but it was only because he was asked to by Chris. And it should have been 18 plus. Chris really asked if the server should contain gore or if it should only be for corn. I got a crazy idea. When it's a server that contains actual children, how about none? As I said, there was a lot of debate within the server about whether or not it should be made 18 plus. And you know how Chris responded? It would be a lot of work, LOL. Chris did not care about the safety of these minors. And for some reason, I mean, we know the reason. Chris was strongly against making this Discord exclusively for adults. Chris said, to be fair, the internet is full of corn. What am I, a parent? Funny enough, because only one year after saying that, Chris became a father to a baby boy who is now four years old. Someone who is obsessed with animated CP, knowingly had dirty conversations with children, and sent dirty pics to children should not be a parent. Now with this leak, things got even more interesting because we just found out that Mr. Beast may have had more involvement than we thought. When Jake the Viking 
Viking and another former Mr. Beast employee said that he knew, it seems like they were telling the truth that Mr. Beast actually knew. In his response that he made a few days ago regarding the situation, he said that he only just became aware. Which is questionable because how do you not even have the slightest clue of your best friend's behavior? Especially when a lot of it was publicly posted and you even looked at a picture hanging in Chris's house of the animated CP. Well, based on these leaks, we just found out that Mr. Beast was allegedly in the server. According to these two screenshots, Jimmy Donaldson, aka Mr. Beast, was in the chat and sent a few messages as well. I found this message here where Mr. Beast joined a conversation to talk about the size of Chris's baby carrot. Now this is the only dirty message that I found, but it sets the record straight that Mr. Beast not only knew about the server, but was actually a part of the server and knew about the dirty conversations that took place. And what this would mean is that Mr. Beast chose to ignore the inappropriate conversations that an adult had with teenagers simply because this adult was his best friend, Chris Tyson. It's only been a week, but it's bad. I mean, it's so bad that not even Chris's own sister supports Chris's behavior. This is allegedly Chris's sister, and she said, I'm his sibling. He, and yes, I use the correct pronoun, told me that he got fully aroused when he secretly stole my female clothes and put them on. He's deluded and disturbed, and it's 100% a fetish. He's narcissistic, and professionals have told him he needs a full psyche valve. When your own blood doesn't even support you, that's how you know it's bad. Based on these Discord messages, the messages on Twitter, and Chris's creepy obsession with animated CP, Chris is sick and is in need of help. It just continues to get worse. Someone recently came forward accusing Chris of SAing them. And this is likely only the beginning, but I want to know your thoughts about all of this. So leave a comment down below and let me know. If you want to help spread awareness, feel free to leave a like on my video, but that's officially going to do it. So until next time, it's been Ivan Steph. Peace. I'm gonna let y'all in on a little secret, okay? You know why Chris changed from Chris with a C to Chris with a K? Because the K stands for what Chris likes. <laughs>